Happy December, everyone. All right, let's go. Um, do you listen to podcasts? Probably, right? I listen to podcasts. We all probably listen to podcasts every once in a while. Um, one of the things that I love is a program called Snipped. Using Snipped, you can just use it for free as a regular podcast player. Um, and there's a little bit extra benefit to that versus other players. Um, if you want to pay some money, uh, you can get a lot of benefit out of it, I think. Because um, what it does is it focuses on um, allowing you to isolate sections of podcasts for further review later. And uh, opt optionally, you can export those um, to different, you know, Notion, Bear, LogSeq, Obsidian, um, uh, Readwise, etc. I think that's all of them, actually. Um, it also can do, like, a standard markdown um, export. And today, because I love Obsidian, I'm going to show you two ways that you can go from listening to a podcast, taking a little note, and getting those notes um, easily, in some cases automatically, into Obsidian. And I'm going to kind of, uh, I'll go through exactly what, what Snip does beyond just um, whatever I just said. Beyond that, there's more that it does. It does a lot of very interesting stuff, um, and I'm going to get into it. I've been using Snip for uh, like at least a year. Maybe more. It was just free with, um, um, you know, some some minor restrictions, and then they um, introduced their paid plan. So I've got a paid plan already. So I decided to talk about it, um, not just because I I really like it, but they put out, um, you know, it's December end of the year. Everyone's doing these recap things. Um, YouTube Music did one for me. People sharing their Spotify stuff um, and all that. And Snip did one. So they gave me a little little uh, video theme, some statistics regarding my account. Um, as you can see on the screen, I have exported 411 Snips to Readwise. Yeah, that, that seems pretty cool. Some of my most listened to podcasts. We got uh, my favorite, The Accidental Creative with Todd Henry. Love them. Check them out. Uh, Comic Lab down here, only listen to them, uh, only snip stuff from them a few times. Um, they focus on making comic books and making a living making comic books. And, uh, I've put out a number of comic books and, like, zines and stuff in my time. Um, so I really like that. And then, of course, um, you know, these are just jokes. Again, Monsters Among Us. And then this one is, uh, Art Bell, uh, Coast to Coast AM, uh, replays. Those are just there for jokes, so that when uh, so that when this um, recap came out that I didn't know about, I could you know have a little laugh with people. I obviously uh, don't really like um, crazy stuff like uh, like uh, that. Obviously, it's a joke. I created <laughs> apparently uh, the top four point five percent in terms of the amount of times I have uh, created podca podcast snips. Uh, and then, of course, my top episode. Again, I snipped uh, this uh, Hellbop Comet. Uh, massive, like, six or seven hour um, episodes, like, uh, cut up of a bunch of uh, radio shows that aired and put into one sort of a mega episode. Um, clearly, I did all of that just for a joke. I don't uh, have, uh, you know... Yeah, when, when this recap thing came out, I was like, oh yeah, um, I have been really getting a lot of uh, fun use out of Snipped for the entire duration I've been using it. But even when I went to get the premium one, uh, I've just been enjoying it more, and I think it's been more and more useful to me. So, Snipped.com, S-N-I-P-D, um, it's not the early 2000s, but people still just can't spell words right. When they make products. What does it do just besides um, letting you listen to podcasts? And when I say it takes snips, snippets of a podcast and translates that into your app, uh, your note-taking app of choice, what do I mean by that? When you play a podcast, there is a little button that says create snip. And you just you hit it and it'll take it all take. I think by default it's around 60 seconds, but there is leeway. It'll do. 
and it will section off that audio and also section off that transcript and shoot it off into your SNP account. The way that it works is it uses, you know, um, uh, AI magic, quote unquote magic, to um, go through, create the transcript for the podcasts, create um, kind of key takeaways and stuff like that. Um, and so as you're listening, you go boom, it's going to uh, take a little snapshot of that audio and of the text transcript. Um, and then it'll kind of try to figure out what is going on in that little snippet and it'll move it over to your account. Um, all of the snips are going to be available um, just through the app as well as um, through the website. So you have access to it on each place. Now, you can't log into your account through the website, but there are links, public links that you can create and share for those uh, little snippets. So, um, for example, in your notes that you export, there'll be links you can click to bring up a little uh, page that'll have that specific snip on there. Um, how good is the transcription? Depends on the podcast. Um, I'd say it's very, um, very good transcripts if you are listening to a kind of traditional podcast. Um, if you're listening to like a call-in show... Um, or something where people might be talking over each other a lot. Um, it can get a little little unreliable. As you do a snip, um, a box comes up that, that gives you a little like preview of what you've snipped. And you have the option to change words and edit the transcript and stuff. Um, and I believe you can edit all that after the fact as well. If you're listening back to it and you go, okay, um, this word wasn't exactly what was said. Um, let me change it. Um, but the transcripts and the chapters, um, I, I think that alone, very nice, very useful. Um, is that alone worth paying for? No. But um, with some of the um, the integration stuff it does, I think it's pretty useful. So sync to your notes app. We got uh, my best friend right there. Uh, we got a former best friend there. Um, I'm sure he's a good guy. Bears are cute. Uh, my other best friend. Um Cool guy, not for me, and uh, and more. I am going to show you two things. So this is Obsidian. Um, so I've got two pages open here in Obsidian. I'm listening to my podcast. I'm listening. I'm like, oh, that was cool. Click, boom, done. Uh, if you use ear earphones, uh, wireless earphones with like buttons. You can um, use those to do snips as well. So the one on the left side that starts with the title um, is from exporting it from the app to Obsidian. The one on the right is it going from snipped um, and then automatically being sent to my Readwise integration that's set up. And then Readwise, you know, um, eventually goes down into Obsidian on its own uh, accord when I uh, open up the app or any of that, you know, trigger the um, the sync through the uh, command palette. The one on the right side that's going from Readwise, that has the, um, the whole templates that you set up for Readwise. That's pulling from that. Um, this one is straight up, uh, basically, you uh, copy text from the snipped app, and then you paste it into uh, Obsidian. Don't think there's a way to get this formatting automatically. If you want it to be sent over to Obsidian automatically without you having to manually think to yourself to do it, um, to remember to do it, uh, then I think you have to go through Readwise, um, uh, which is unfortunate because I prefer the direct export from the app and paste it into Obsidian. Uh, highlights, key takeaways. So the key takeaways are generated thr from the AI. And then we got the transcript down here. And then another highlight I did about giving honest feedback and not playing nice with innovation. We got some key takeaways. So like what are the main differences in these different ways to do it? Um, the, f the formatting is beautiful here, right? We got little show notes that you can click to get the... Um, you know, the, the notes that the host puts onto the podcast. Um, we got tags here. These were automatically added. I, I actually, I don't know if I can change these. Um, so it was really eye-opening to, um, 
go through this process. And I I recorded it. I did a little screen recording when I did it. So um, I'll show you a little like minute long thing at the end or something that will show you the exact process that I had to go through to copy and paste it all in there. It's it's painless. It's not like there's not a lot of friction there. I'm just lazy. Um, any area of my life where I can be lazy and the cost to me is minimal, I take that. And so this is an issue where I'm already paying for a Readwise. I love Readwise. I love Readwise Reader. Um, I tried to send all of my sort of stuff through that. And since that functionality was offered, no brainer. Um, on the Readwise one, after the end of the highlights, you've got the little timestamp here. You can click it. Actually, let me click that and show you what one of the snipped pages actually looks like. So snip.com uh, share dot snip dot com slash snip slash a uh, unique uh, key for this specific thing. We've got a uh, embedded player here for a minute and 48 seconds. Um, a link to the full episode options to share. And uh, we got the key takeaways right here. We got the little transcript right there. Uh, speaker one speaker two. And we also have the episode notes also there this is great this is like really great and um, we also have related snips over here are these just are these other snips that i've done i can't recognize it probably from the uh from different episodes of the same podcast um can we can i like embed this on a web page well does it have an embed option so we've got the link we've got a nearby shared and doesn't look like we can embed um so you've got that there which is useful if uh, if you look on the left hand side so this has a link as well that probably I assume is going to be the same snip page. Yeah, the same snip page opens up when you click that. And then we have uh, the full episode is embedded. It looks like the audio of the full episode. Then we got the key takeaways, transcript you can click to uh, sh see. Then we've got, I mean, I don't know how much else there is to, to say. I think it's fantastic. So yeah, that's it's super simple. Specifically, the way it works is... All right, so this is a uh, screenshot of uh, that I just took. Some of the podcasts will have this little badge right here that says the little sparkly AI badge. If you can see here, this says free, $0 included. Unlimited listening, just like as a regular podcast app, you can use that. Access AI features for two podcasts per week. Run AI on unprocessed podcasts. So the way that this works is... Every user is allocated a certain amount of minutes. If you see an app, uh, if you see a podcast that has this little AI badge on it, that means that some user somewhere has used their minutes to uh, run the snipped AI stuff on that episode. If another user run, um, uses their minutes to run AI on that episode. Um, anyone else who's subscribed to it or comes across it in the Snipped app will see that AI badge and will be able to um, gain access to the transcript and the key takeaways and all the AI generated stuff without spending their minutes. So as a free user, if you see a podcast that doesn't have the AI badge, you can't um, do anything about that. If you, right, so you can't do anything about that because you cannot run AI on unprocessed podcasts. If someone else has done it already um, and you still have access to your two podcasts a week, then you can go ahead and use it and listen to it, make snips with the transcripts and the takeaways and all of that stuff. So two a week, um, that might be fine for some people. Like it's pretty low. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to like, that's not a lot. At least it does at a minimum, give you a little, a uh, little thingy, a little, uh, a little taste, a little quick taste. Now the premium check prices on the app. The price is not listed on the web page because you have to do it through the app. And what the reason they give for that is because the app, um, the pricing can differ depending on the app store you're using and the region. So they don't want to put uh, misleading prices on the website, something like that, which is fair, I guess, but um, kind of makes it a, a hassle to 
even like get into your head like oh is this something that I can like consider no because you have to do a lot of work to kind of get into the to get the full scope of what you know buying into this app costs um so unlimited listening just like the other one unlimited access to ai features of already processed podcasts so any podcast that someone has ran there's a lot that you don't even have to spend your minutes on it's only when you're listening to stuff like old art bell replays that you might have to like be like okay let's spend uh, two and a half hours of uh <laughs> you know 180 minutes 240 minutes to uh, run some AI on this uh, Art Bell podcast. And then, yeah, 15 hours of unprocessed podcasts a month that you can uh, run AI on. But uh, I'm going to give you uh, some loosey-goosey pricing. Um, If we go to the Play Store, the Google Play Store, in-app purchases ranging from $8.99 to $83.90. And then... Uh, the Apple Store, we've got uh, nine ninety nine up to seventy one ninety. So that's going to be the monthly pricing, I believe. And then uh, that should be the yearly pricing: eighty three ninety on Android, seventy one ninety on Apple, I guess. So yeah, um, there's that. I think that if you, yeah, I don't know. There's that. Um, the last thing that I'll say, um, I'll put a little bit of uh, a screen capture of me doing the manual export from Snipped to Obsidian, um, Obsidian Mobile. Um, getting it from Snipped into um, Obsidian on your desktop, if they're not synced, you know, that's a little bit more of a hassle because you can't log into your uh, Snipped account through the web. That I guess that's also another hurdle that you might have to overcome depending on um, if you use Obsidian Mobile at all and um, how your syncing is set up. I just use Obsidian Sync because it's pretty fairly inexpensive and it's super simple. So that's what I use for Obsidian. Um, so when I make a note in you know on the phone, it you know very quickly translates over to the desktop. But um, when I was uh, mucking around in the settings. There is a um, a link to uh, give you one month of Snip Premium for free. Um, I don't get anything from it uh, aside from spreading uh, the joy that I find of this app. It does not list anything about like uses. Like it doesn't say like you can share this with three friends. So um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put the link up on the screen as well. I'll put it in the description box. Um, Give it a shot for, uh, you know, two, three, four weeks. See if you like it. See if you don't like it. Um, And just try to, you know, see if uh, you want to, you know, stick with it going forward. See if it's something that's going to be able to add some value to you. I hope you guys kind of like it. Stick around for a brief little screen capture thing. And then um, click on the link in the box to get a free month of premium. Check it out. Thank you, buddies.